I just took off black nail polish. So if my nails look gross, oh my God, I'm flipping you guys off. But if my nails look gross, that's why. Hey YouTube, long time, no talk. Um, obviously I took a long break from making videos here, but we're back at it again. Maybe not nearly as consistently, but I'm back. So recently my hair has been feeling a little limp, not as like bouncy as usual. So I figure why not try out some sort of treatment to see if it makes a difference. And this is going to be a treatment that I've never tried before. Um, I'm going to be trying a mud mask. So I picked this up from Sephora, paid for this with my own money. This is a Bread Beauty mud mask. So this is their detox hair and scalp treatment. So I've seen so many people on TikTok have amazing results with mud masks. And I was curious as to whether it could work well on my hair type. And plus the reviews on Sephora.com were also like amazing. So I'm very intrigued. Another reason why I decided I wanted to try this is because I have soft water here in New York City. When I was living in New Jersey for most of my life, I had water that was slightly hard, which just means that it has a higher mineral content. So that would be calcium carbonate and magnesium sulfate. We all have heard about hard water and the damaging effects that it can do for your hair, but water that's a little hard isn't really gonna bother you too much. But now I have soft water, which means that the mineral content is a lot lower than I've been used to. And I have noticed that my hair is a little bit different it doesn't curl up as much. I find that my wash days don't last as long. Either way, I'm happy with how my hair looks because to be honest, if my hair doesn't curl up as much, it looks longer, which you all know is my ultimate goal is to have super long curly hair. However, I have been curious about what I can do to maybe make my hair curl up a little bit more or what products might be better suited for this type of water. The reason why I wanted to try out a mud mask is because the clay that is included in this mask is naturally high in magnesium and calcium. So I'm curious as to whether this will have a positive effect in New York City water specifically. So let's talk about why I might want magnesium and calcium for my hair. So what magnesium sulfate does as an ingredient is it helps shrink the bonds in your hair, which helps your hair curl up a little bit more. You might know magnesium sulfate as Epsom salt, and I'm also gonna link an article in the description box below, which has a little bit more detail about this ingredient and what it can do for your curls. As far as calcium is concerned, I had a little bit of trouble finding exactly what this might do for hair, but I found it used as an ingredient in a lot of dry shampoos as an oil absorber, and then also in other formulations as a texturizer or a volumizer. So all of those descriptions kind of sound like exactly what I'm looking for. So let's see what happens. I'm gonna apply this and we're gonna go from there. But before we get into it, if you don't know me already, my name is Brittany, also known as Brit Curls on the internet. Here we do all things curly hair and maybe a little bit more. So why don't you give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date on all the videos that I will hopefully be putting out in the near future. But let's test this thing out. So I'm just starting out here by dampening my hair before applying. All right, let's see how this works. I have to break the seal. <laughs> this is what it looks like. It doesn't really smell like anything. Yeah, not at all. Oh, it has a very like creamy conditioner texture. I actually expected it to be like kind of rough. I know you can apply this to your scalp. I have a really sensitive scalp, so I'm not gonna do that for now. I don't really know how much of this I should be putting on. Um, unsure. I feel like my hair is like absorbing this too. I wanna say I've seen people put it on and their hair just looks totally like lightly colored, like a light gray, but I feel like mine, like I'm looking in my monitor, I feel like it's, I don't know. Just gonna do one more coat to make sure it's fully coated. So what I'm gonna do now is just twist my hair together to keep it out of the way, but get a little bit of curl training in there if you believe in any of that. I don't know if that I do, but why not? All right, so I just set a timer for 20 minutes, then I'm going to wash and style as per usual, and then we'll see my results. So I will be back. All right, guys, these are my results. And I'm not lying when I'm saying that these are like some of the tightest and most defined curls I've had in a very long time. 
oh my goodness, this worked. And I have proof that these results are from the mud mask itself, so I'll get to that. So just to give you like a recap of what happened, um, once I got into the shower, I rinsed it out with shampoo. I ended up using a sulfate containing shampoo. It was the orange VO5 shampoo, not remembering the name, I'll pop a picture somewhere. But I just wanted to make sure that I fully got this out of my hair because I figured if it you know, was left in a little bit, I would be able to feel it and it would just ruin my wash day. Then because I felt like this was a little bit drying, I followed it up with a deep conditioner. So I used my favorite Briogeo Don't Despair Repair. And after rinsing that out, I knew that this was gonna be a good wash day before I had even like put any product in my hair because my hair just felt so plump, so hydrated, like it was already retaining water without me like having to do anything. It felt super slimy, super soft even in the shower. And I was like, ugh, I know this is gonna be good. Now, as far as products are concerned, I decided to use um, my favorites, Intersense I Create Volume, and then I Create Lift Foam Over Top. But let me tell you something. These two were my absolute favorites when I lived in New Jersey, but now that I live in New York City, they just haven't worked as well for me. So I was like, okay, this is gonna be a little bit of a test. Now that I'm using a mask that has minerals that my water is deficient in, let's see if I can get a good wash day with these products that really just like haven't been something I've reached for recently. And it's safe to say that this really works. Using these products recently has not given me these results. So I am ecstatic. <laughs> So this mask is definitely something that I'm going to keep and continue using. It doesn't actually say how often that you should be using something like this, but I think that once a month sounds about right, especially since it's a little drying and I don't know. I'm just like a lazy person, so I really don't wanna to have to do something like this more often than that. But I'm very interested to see if later in the week my washes keep coming out good or if I notice kind of near the end of the month, like, oh, okay, I'm gonna to wanna to do one of these again. But either way, super excited about this and so happy with how my hair came out. So thanks for watching and drop me a comment down below if you wanna try this or if you've had similar results, would love to hear from you. Bye guys.